And we're back. I'm sorry, everybody. Hi. I'm pretty sure that my internet flipped out, and that caused everything else mm. to flip out. I hope yep. that won't happen again. Internet um, table flip. <laughs> yeah, so we might just go straight till the end of the session then, because we just had an early break. Uh, if that works for everyone. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay. Um, so uh, we didn't see this on stream, um, but as um, Kettle, and, we see Kettle and we see the being formerly known as Grigsby uh, looking from like a shadowy corner at the probably fairly brightly lit entrance. Um, it's still late at night to the like Kim's lab. Um, we see the doors open. Um, there are no guards outside. The whisk guards are inside watching Kim. Um, but the door is open, and we see Mimi um, step outside, and she like just looks around really quickly, and then doesn't she doesn't see them, um, but she sets off just down the street, away, um, and then the outside seems fairly abandoned and empty. Now oh. I'm getting my connection to the server has been interrupted. Yeah, me too. It's roll twenty. So All right, it's gone. That's, what Kim like is doing, yeah. Like Kim is probably trying to work a gig where he's making all the drugs in his drug lab. That's okay. why he's up so late. Yeah, and uh, unbeknownst to any, I think anyone else, um, really, me, that's exactly what Mimi was buying from you. Nice. Um, Goddamn kids and. Whiz bangs and silly sticks. <laughs> Angel dust. I think it's actually like Velium or something like that. Yeah. Or okay. She just needs to calm the hell down. Like two Percocets and some whiskey and she's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got a little tranquilizer in there, maybe. It's got some sugar. Yeah. So, you know, it doesn't taste okay. like too bad. It tastes like sugar. Everyone likes sugar, right? Um, is it actually just a sugar pill? Or are you just giving people placebos <laughs> and um, charging them for real drugs? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Is that so? Does it make them happy? I mean, to be honest, sugar is probably more expensive. It's true. <laughs> it's it's a, it's probably just yeah. distilled antifreeze. It tastes sweet, but it's gonna kill them. <laughs> so it's candy. Taste yeah. sweet is gonna kill you. Um, so you're you want to be working a gig, eh? Well, let's uh, let's look at the that angel gig for drugs. Is there an angel gig for selling drugs? No, there, there, there's always a gig for and anything else you can come up with. That's true, and selling drugs is profitable. I mean, yeah, like I gotta make a deal, but yeah, as, as established, people want drugs. And they're coming to me for drugs. And I'm providing That's it. That's true. You you are providing it. Both like Ba orders them for his parties. Um and you have other customers just for personal use. Drugs. Mm -hmm. Um I think you're right. It already has been established. Thoughts from other people. It seems like a really easy four barter though. Or is it a th three barter? I think. Yeah, three barter. You can say it's two barter. Yeah, it's a really, it's a, it's a really easy three barter until you know. But it, it is a threat as well. I mean, he's got drugs. People want yeah. drugs. They also have guns. <laughs> yep. Okay. So yeah, for now. So they trade the guns for the drugs. No, they they trade the <laughs> yeah. They yes. trade the bullets for the drugs. Okay. <laughs> so. What is Rapidly. It? Metro, Metro 2033 style, where they just pay you a <laughs> handful of bullets? Okay, I got it. Yeah. I mean, barter is anything, well, I mean, right? they'll be coming out of a barrel. <laughs> yeah. A whole barrel full of bullets? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like a wooden barrel? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get it through a metal detector, sure, it's a wooden barrel, but... <laughs> okay. Um, so, what's the plan for getting in there? Um... There are there are other people in there. I don't think you would assume there aren't. Uh, Whisk, not sorry, not Whisk. Kim, uh, it's late at night. Do you have both of your staff on still? Or oh no, alone? but probably Whisk's bodyguards. Yeah, I 
they are, unless Whisk says otherwise. Okay. Um, I mean, there might be like a few people who are just sick or injured and are staying in the infirmary. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, they are still, but they're not being attended to, and everything like valuable is locked up. They're stable. Okay. All right. Kendall so would turn to you and G- like, like I, I think we just have to go in. I, I he turns and says, uh, "Stay here. I call for you." And nods. very brazenly, he just walks in. <laughs> um, hey. and, and he makes a very loud growling noise so that everybody looks at him <laughs> and he just takes his mask off <laughs> yeah um, right. okay I I think you're acting like pretty quickly in that like when they're looking at you, your mask is already off okay yeah they, I, I think that uh the guards weren't already looking at you. They were in the, looking in the general direction of Kim. Kim was busy making drugs. I feel like the actual so drug I think that is like a separated back room that you can't see into or out of. Yeah. Um, I think that just happens. Would you like to re-describe, I think just, just for the impact effect on Kim, uh... what they're seeing? When what they see is a is a very desiccated face. Um, it it looks like a human face with pretty much all of the water sucked out of it. Um, yeah, so the the area around the eyes is very pulled back and and dry. Um, the lips are are pulled back so you can like see his teeth. Uh, very gaunt features. And you're and, like six and a half, seven foot tall. Well, yeah, it's, fairly short before, so maybe like six and a half foot tall. Yeah, like six and a half foot tall, very thin, uh, bark covered green person wearing torn lab clothing. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, the, the the same kind of clothes that uh, Kurt Connors in lizard form would be, would be wearing, so like torn lab coat, and some some torn Hulk pants, you know. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, the guards are stunned and cannot they they cannot act. They they're just like looking at they are eyes wide, paled face, just staring. Maybe one of them tries to make a noise, but just comes out like, uh, uh, heap. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can still act if you'd like him upon seeing this, because you'd just be acting under fire. Sure, like I said, yeah. I think the drug lab is actually in the back. Yeah, it's like. So you don't immediately wall. see this? It's just I don't immediately really see it. I think, like. Oh, that's, that's good. Like, the you guards... can just come in, <clears throat> open the door, and then Kim is like, then Kim's trying to react. I don't think but I think the guards would be watching you. So if they could, they'd oh, be in the same room as you. The guards are. They can't be in the drug lab. They can't be. So said? no. Maybe maybe there's a window that they can see you through. I but think the the, the room itself is pretty sealed, so it's probably soundproof as well. Like okay, there's probably an okay. area you can't see though. I want to see so the it's... back room. Like there's yeah. gotta be a back room. Yeah, but but. If you're working on chemicals and stuff like that, you usually have a window so people can see when something bad has happened and you don't want to open that door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So uh, you are alone with these two people and they're just staring at you in terror. See, I guess Kevin's um, through the window. He's like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like put the mask back on and like club them out, like just knock them out. Knock them out? Yeah. All right, now they're still stunned. Um, I think this is still... This is just acting under fire for now. Um, I think that mostly the fire is not killing them. Blunt force trauma to the head. It's a thing. And you are now much stronger than you think. Okay. 
that's fine. So if you act, if, if you yeah, succeed, this is the first time you've really like violenced at something since you got your new bod. Yeah. So let's 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 violence these people. All right, partial success. So I I maybe I give one of them a brain injury. <laughs> it's okay. They're in the hospital. It's okay. Um, I think a better Sorry. Thing, you knock them both out, but I think um, you knock one of them, they're still just knocked out, not dead, but you knock one of them hard enough that they like slam into the wall or whatever is blocking, like they, you notice Kim. They make a noise loud enough that you, you notice yeah. that something's happening out there. Okay. I think Kim sees this going down, he's like, oh my god, How, I need help, help, and um, is there like a radio or something I can call for help on? In the drug lab? Is there? It's up to you. I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, do we have portable radios? Is that a thing? Radios that a thing? Radios are a thing. We Grigsby used them, um, right. and people use them to call back into the radio station. Um, yeah, but those those were like hard that, lines. Exactly. Like outside portable. of that, I don't think that they're common. All right. I think like Kim. A Kim like. Ducks down underneath the drug counter, and it's just the drug blank is going to be everything in this room. The drug what? The drug blank? The call drug, the drug, the drug chair. They call drug, it the drug counter. I was the like, drug rug. Yeah, so okay. there's, there's <laughs> drug shelves and drug bottles. And... Yeah. Take a sip of your drug coffee. There's the <laughs> drug beakers that are connected by drug tubes. Yep. And there's uh, so drugs in the air because that's how it works. Yeah, you duck down behind uh, under the counter. Yeah, I'm like man. I, I... Yeah, Kim's Kim's not cool about this. He's freaking out. All right. Um... So how how soon after Grigsby waking up into his new form is this? Is this the same day? Oh no! Hours. I'm thinking of like a week past. I'm thinking it took okay. days uh, for you to actually like regain consciousness. Oh, well, I mean, like from from the first oh, from scene we saw with okay. with Twigsby, yeah. Um, like two or three days. It could be one day. Like it could be that very night. It's it's. I'm gonna leave this up to you, Zen. All right, because I I've got this thing that like. I don't think Twigsby remembers how Grigsby died. Like, he like remembers his life up to a point, and then everything after, like... What's that point? I think that point is the day that the thing with Bean went down. Like, he doesn't remember that at all. The whole day? Like, you just remember going to sleep? Yeah. The night before? Okay. So I think when uh, he sees Kim, like, he stops for a second, and, like, these flashes start coming back of, like, Bean leveling a gun. And this is all, like, if we're seeing the, the flashes movie style, it's, like, from Grigsby's perspective as the gun is, like, pointed directly at the camera. And some other flashes of, like, a mob and and, you know blinding pain, some other things. Awesome. And, uh... Yeah, I, I think he start, he, he's beginning to process some repressed memories. So, like, if, if Kim wanted to do anything, you've probably got a good 30 seconds of him just standing there, kind of stunned. Yeah, okay. I, the thing is, I don't think so, yeah, there's nothing a, happens. I don't think there's a big well, exit from the drug lab. You said you don't really see what's happening. Well, it's up to you, Golden, because there is a window. But you just as soon as you heard the noises, you said you freaked. No, he looks over and he sees Grigsby without his mask. Oh, okay. As he's like with slamming. his mask. Oh, wait, no, he put the mask back on. Okay, on before so, he. Yeah, I guess I don't see you with the mask off. And as you're like punching the people into the wall, I think that's what gets his attention. And then he like yeah. just dies behind the counter, hoping you don't see him. You wait. You just wait out the thirty seconds. Yeah, Kim's hiding. Okay. Okay. So yeah, yeah I, I, it's, it's just you two. Um, yeah, I think 
twigs be uh, turns and and yells for kettle to to come in as yeah. he starts like going over to I don't know who does does Kim have samples of the plant people in in his lab? You had been working on yes. them for at some point, so somewhere. Okay. Is it public or obvious? No, I mean. Okay. It would probably be like in a petri dish on shelves or something. Like it'd be very small samples. Like maybe there's like even a rack of like green plant blood somewhere. I think the, right. the blood itself is probably like a weird brown. Um, sure. Yeah, like an amber, yeah. sappy like kind said, of look. Yeah. yeah. Like nothing that's like, you know, I didn't cut off leaves or yeah. fingers or anything like that. Just have a hand. Yeah, I think, I think he starts like rifling through all of this stuff in the lab trying to find samples and that kind of stuff. All right. Well, that's taking so long, I think Ken would peek up out the window and see what's going on. Yeah, and uh, I think you you see you look up at the same time as you see a kettle walk through the door. Um, All right. So let me know what you do, but until okay. either someone opens the door or you you open the door, um, I'm just gonna, you're going to see this whole scene. Yeah, and so probably I probably hear it too. If you're Kim like sees listening. kettle, I'm like, oh, kettle, kettle, I'm in here. Look out! Look out! <laughs> okay. Um, she 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 sees you, um, but she I don't think she immediately like look. She doesn't immediately talk to you. She like strides forward, uh, oh. towards like one of the bodies. Says, "Did did you kill them? No, they okay. will be fine." Kettle looks up. Okay, they were in the way. Kettle looks up to you, Kim, and just says, "Like, get out here." Like and then like points at the creature and says like Okay. It seems like <laughs> Like I don't know I what's going like, on, but he's cool. He turns off the the gas on the fire that was underneath the boiling <laughs> drug bottles. Okay. The drug Bunsen burger. <laughs> and he comes out the yeah. drug door. And he's like just sees this plant thing going through his stuff. He's like What's going on? Is how'd you get out? Are, are, did you did Kettle let you out? Did, uh, I mean, the police let you out. Do you give her a chance to answer? Yeah, Zen. Mm, I don't think so. I think, uh, yeah, he, he definitely like wheels on you and and like oh, looms over you, and he's like, where uh, are the samples from? The plant people. Oh, they're they're over what? there. Yeah, and the kettle they're, they're kettle the is just looking at you. What? Look at the cabinet. The Why do you want? Combination wanna... is three three four one nine seven. Open it. And he's oh. like, you know, it's got huge hands. It's it's a tiny keypad. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> is is a twig to be like threatening him in any way? I mean, you're holding an axe, and there are two unconscious people next to you. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the situation would dictate that it is. This is potentially a volatile person you're dealing with. <laughs> yeah, I think like, Kim goes over the door and opens the sample locker. Okay, and while you're Kim opening it, okay. uh, Kettle is just like whisperingly to you. Um, then she says, "Why do you want the samples?" We came here to find out more. We'll find out after these are dangerous. Uh, I think before she can answer, you've gotten them out. Um, it, it's not super long to get them out. Sure. Uh, no. Kim. They're probably like, I, uh, you can carry all of them at once. But he I doesn't think... like take him out of the drawers or anything, so I'm kind of shelf. Before he he turns to uh to Kim, uh, I I think he looks 
Kettle very seriously in the face and says, uh, The seed must not spread. You can hear your mask, like, protesting. Um, oh, I'm sure. And I think, yeah, you're turning... T- you, you were, were you looking at Kim or Kettle when you said that? Kettle. Okay, she... she uh... She stops and is just thinking. I don't think she answers you. She's thinking for a while. Um, Kim, do you do anything? Yeah, can I meet a person? Which person? All right, this is pretty fucking charged, so yeah. Ex <laughs> Grigsby. Ex Grigsby, okay. Twigsby, then, yeah. I, I, I have an idea for a name, but I'm waiting till it comes out in play. Oh, I don't succeed. Do you help me? You get XP. Are you, are you trying to I mean, open? Oh, I, I, I think. Okay. Yeah, and help wouldn't actually oh, bump true. you up any. So yeah, never mind. Yeah. Take the I mean, I could for the XP. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not like I'm hiding any of my motives right now. Sure. Like, <laughs> would you like to roll plus hex to help? Because remember, you could always get that six minus, and then I could introduce a complication. Yeah. You know, yeah it's... You know. It's plus three. I mean, it's not gonna... <laughs> Last time we said it's not gonna, you died. <laughs> yeah, and that was a plus three. four. Mm. Yeah, well. Nine. Okay. Eat right. it. <laughs> this is up to an eight. That's cool. Uh, so, I guess I ask, what do you intend to do? Uh... In character, you ask that, or are you like discerning that from actions? I'm discerning it from your actions and your whispering. And okay. Uh, yeah, it's it's you're... pretty apparent that that he's here to like remove all evidence of the plant people oh. from your hands. And like you said, that you have to that the uh, thing must not spread. So I think Kim is like, um, wait, no, stop. I'm working on a on a cure. I'm working on a way to remove the plant thing forever. I need those samples. Uh, Can I go hot? Do you need to? That's up to Zen. Do you think, Zen, that your character would be one to listen to reason at this point, or...? Um... I, he he could possibly be manipulated into li- listening to reason. Like, if... if okay. Yeah, go ahead and roll it. We'll see what happens. All right. Let's roll that. Partial right. success. So I believe, Golden, you choose one, the carrot or the stick. The XP or the acting under fire. I'll give you the carrot. All right. So that would be. You gain one XP if you do what they want. Which is, don't destroy my samples. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he sets the samples on the table and says, um, if. You will work with me to rid this place of the plant people. I will let you continue your work. Yes, yes, of course. The plant people. There. People don't understand. They're they're from they're from beyond the grave. This, this isn't right. Something terrible will happen. Do you react Give, when he says beyond the grave? I, I was about to ask, given, given Twigsby's connection to, to the, 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 the father, whatever we're calling this thing, the green man, um, yeah. would... He recognized that Kim has had contact with him from that statement. Um, 
Yes and more. I think. Oh, neat. <laughs> okay. Um, firstly, uh, like this is the first time you're directly like looking at Kim. You've usually been distracted when interacting with Kim so far. Um, right. I guess it it feels like a headache of sorts is coming on, and you start seeing flashes of um, this bundled up like snow snow suited man um, driving the the Red Fox One, the snowmobile that Kim now has. Um, then you just see sort of you. Pr it's, I think it's first person, um, so you actually see it, this through like crosshairs on a gun. Um, and then, yeah, you see, you see the whole scene in first person of Kim not only killing this, uh, killing Setter, um, but... Oh, can I describe this? Yes, so, please yeah. do. So, you see Kim, like, crouch, you see, like, somebody, like, staring out from behind, like, a bunch of a rubble in the middle of a snowstorm, and we see this snowmobile driving through the snowstorm uh up the uh you know up these very mountainous un unsteady hills of snow and he tries to go up this hill and suddenly the, the hill like collapses underneath him uh like this you see this like wooden plank that was holding up the snow but was very weak collapse and the snowmobile goes tumbling uh, through the snow, and the person, you know, he's just been in the snowmobile accident. He's kind of stunned, and Kim runs over and pulls that revolver out of his uh, holster and just sh shoots him in the head. And <laughs> when he reaches down to touch Setter, he says, "Like explosion of electricity and light everywhere." Okay, and then yeah, you're you're back in the present. <laughs> um, maybe you see the reflection in like this guy's snow goggles of Kim's face. Right. Ah, uh, so many things to unpack now. I mean, he he's seen the green man. He's a murderer. Uh, what to go for first? I I think we settle the green man issue first. Though it makes most sense. Um, yeah. So like yeah, when you mentioned that they're from the beyond the grave, yeah. you see like. His head cocked to the side a little. And the mask whispers to you, He knows. He has met the father. And like, things like that. Um, how does he react to that? Because you're, you're, you're doing what he wants to do. That's, that's a... So... But also all the other stuff, yeah. Yeah, but also all the other stuff. Um, so yeah, I think you, you're now uncomfortably face to face with a, a viney mask, uh, wooden mask, and am... like you can you can see these dead eyes just like piercing into you. <laughs> sure. And he says, um, you have met the green man. He while, okay. cannot be trusted. Um, while uh, Twigsby was having his vision, um, like a, a like a purple, a small purple like flower grew on the mask very, very quickly and suddenly. It just sort of like speed sprouted right. while that was happening. Kim is like getting away from that flower. It, it's just like this. It's like regular stuff. I don't care, um, man. I am very well. <laughs> yeah. I am up against the poison. Wall. <laughs> okay. This fucking flower. It could be a joker flower. Yeah. Just I, like not, I don't want this flower puffing in my face. This is bullshit. Okay. So as you like try to get back, he like grabs you by the shirt and pulls you very close. Oh, no. And he says, listen to me, murderer. We must work against this man. He seeks 
to spread the seed. What? What, what green man? You're, you're, you're the only... Do you mean dog meat? Dog meat no. in quarantine. The father. What what do you know? Tell me. He speaks to me. I knew it. I couldn't get I couldn't get the others to admit to it. I knew he must be in contact. Somehow forcing you to act. How can you resist? Not Easily. She doesn't force us. Or at least, like, like she, she, I don't think she said anything, but she, she casts a, like, at least me is what her glance says. She glances at Twixby. Um, this is Kettle talking. She says, it, for Can me, I... it comes in dreams. Yeah. Dog meat through prayer. This for this is the first time she's mentioned it. She's been in denial. All right. So Kim's like, oh my gosh. I don't know what it is. It's from beyond this world. It's unnatural. Look at this world. This. So so something's beyond this world. Have you seen the Father's world? In dreams. I'll take, is I'll warm take freedom, freedom and loneliness over that stuffed graveyard any day. She like just shakes her head, like she she's like, tr- yeah, she looks like she has to. She's disappointed in you. Sure. So since since you seem to be like acquiescing to the demands that uh, that he's making, yeah, I I'm think not exactly. Twi- but pretty close. Yeah. Well, you're you're not like you're agreeing with him that it, it's a threat. Right. Yeah. So he like lets you go, and looks at <clears throat> looks at kettle, uh, and he says, "This man seeks control." He's telling you, like the 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 father, whatever we're calling him, is just like trying to control everything that that Twigsby yeah. does these days. So, and uh, all she simply says, it he the father wants to save us. I it's listen, I. My dreams have been detailed. I've seen more of this place. She turns to Kim. I've seen more of that place than you have. He doesn't. He doesn't want to save us. He wants to take our memories to make his own memories in the living world. That's why he created. That's not what he you. said. That's what he told me. He wants us to leave this place. Uh, leave this place. There are too many people here already. It is not safe here for any of us anyway. He wants us all to leave. Just not everyone, everyone. But he sort of said that he's calling forth a bit of an exodus. Where we will join him in the Vale. There it is warm, there is plenty of food and water. 
not well i don't think there's food but we have no need for food and we not can not there you would not need food there we don't need food now so i'd like to like do a flashback to kind of like researching these what what do they sure. actually live off of like is are they living off like electricity or is it, like are they sucking death energy from the maelstrom like really what's the deal here I okay um roll sharp for flashback right. let's roll this and shit. then let's let's see how much you know oh, okay I, I know everything about this shit okay um they oh, the only thing they require it seems is water they okay. even plants require water sunlight nutrients stuff like that they need water um, air and sunlight and nutrients and, and soil yeah. yeah um so what where i think these guys what are they using air. instead of sunlight uh it seems that the maelstrom like they are actually yeah, like, they are drawing off the some maelstrom male, some maelstrom energy right. yeah the kid is like terrified of this partly. shit yeah, partly. That's exactly what Kim was afraid of. So yeah. I think Kim's like, "You're, you're not living off of nothing. You're living off of the, the, I don't know what is the death, the souls of everyone who died, and you're drawing okay, them back you, like, into this world. About? It's not, it's not." You can't just live off of nothing. It's not how it works. Not naturally. You need I... to get your energy from somewhere. You're not getting it from the water. Not getting it from the air. I have the tests to prove it. And uh, Kettle just says, I don't care what's natural. I care what's good for once. We might actually make something good. You... Yeah. It's it's not healthy. It's it's not good for anybody. It's not good for the people that are trying to live in this world. If you if you want to leave this world, I I can send you to the father right now. <laughs> Her eyes narrow when you say that. I think I could. Uh, I I I think twigs be uh turns to Kettle again and says uh, Does this look good to you? That seed did this to me. I am I want to say I am a monster, but like she interrupts you, know, you and repeats. some Frankenstein syndrome going on here. Well, she, <laughs> she interrupts what you were going to say. As soon as you say I am, she says beautiful, and she like repeats what she said when early on when you guys first met. Uh, re re met. Okay. Um, she's like, you are. I don't. You're not normal. You're not human. Why does that make you wrong? Why does that make me wrong? Um, have, having to do the entire exposition in that voice is just going to be weird. So, okay. Uh, basically, Twigsby is going to explain to her that, like, there's a voice in his head that commands him to do things and i'm guessing at least hurts when he doesn't do them <laughs> i mean it's got to do something that that you know there's there's got to be a reason that i act under fire like either like does it hurt or is it like you're moving through molasses when you're not when you're like fighting against <clears throat> it or yeah i i think it's it's a battle for control okay so Whatever, however that manifests, whether it's like psychic pain or, or just like you know not being able to have full control of his body, like you're fainting, like you're blacking out, yeah, just right before and she, she just. And so all she says is, 
yet you choose to still wear that mask. Uh, I think he says, without the mask, I cannot affect change. Because literally, his strength comes from his mask. If he takes oh, yeah, it off, right. his heart goes to zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mask is my violence. Um, what would she say? She takes a moment. Uh, she, like, looks to both... Like, looks both at, e at both of you. Um, and just says... You are both in the wrong here and making a mistake. So Kim's like looks terrified, and I'm kind of like waiting for a distraction, like waiting for her not to be paying attention to me. Yeah. Um. Well, she takes a second to like look at uh at, at Zen's character again. Um. And she this time slowly. This time, like, she would like your permission first. She would like to reach forward and touch the mask. Do you let her? Just to shake uh, it, she'll stop. No, well, he was gonna do something completely the opposite of that um, at this point. I, I think, yeah, he, like, bats her hand away, like, rather, rather gruffly. Yeah. Um, and... and Forcefully and with great anger, <laughs> he says, If you are not with us, you are against us. I think behind him, we see, like, Kim, like, picking this, like, say it's like a metal stick, or like, it's a wooden stick, just, he's gonna smash it over her head, knock her out. Behind her? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, okay, that 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 may help or interfere with what I was about to do. What are, okay, what are all uh, of you about to do? What would uh, I was going to threaten her. Um, okay. Are you just gonna do it anyways, Kim, or you stop if he? How do I know he's gonna threaten her? I don't think you do. I think it's up to. I, I think really Zen. It's your your character's does, does choice. You give me a PC look and like. Yeah. Do you do you, do you like? Does, you see me going for saying, the like wait. You see me don't, going don't for pull the, yet. For the stick, and you're like, no, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, I think I do. Okay. I, she I, hasn't. She hasn't noticed yet. If you. I allow you to yet. do the look. So, so yeah, I think he continues with. Um, If you get in our way, I will remove you permanently. She is looking at you like personally hurt. Um, and she ha has been looking at you since you smacked your hand away. Um, well, there's a going aggro move. Yes, so. there is. You have plus three. Okay. Shit. Uh, All right. We haven't, I don't think we've rolled going aggro with this as like it with it not being suckering someone. Yeah. Um. So let's see. So on a seven and nine, they could choose one of the above or one of the following. So they can force my hand and suck it up, cave and do what I want, or get the hell out of my way, barricade themselves securely, give you something they think you want, or back off calmly. And see okay so i think uh she is gonna choose to back off calmly hands where you can see uh kim she doesn't know you're there yet unless so if you cut oh you yeah can still swing uh, if she really starts backing she backs, really backs up right, right into the swing well, I, distance really <laughs> <above. laughs> all right you want to help me with this before i roll um help or interfere she's yeah 
Well, she didn't give me what I want, and that is she assurance talk, that she's going to... But I think before she was going to talk, uh, she doesn't have a chance to. She she does plan okay, to Okay, what, 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 what does her body language say? Does it say, idea, I'm getting the fuck out of here? Her idea or... was to make, like, to speak and then not run, but just, like, leave, normally leave. Um, but just say say parting words to you is what she was planning to do. Um, but before she can say those parting words, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think he, given that she chose one of the seven to nine things, and that's, like, not what the intent of the role was. Um, yeah, I think he's going to help take her out. Okay. okay. Uh, you're suckering her. She, do she doesn't know you're there. Um, right. But you can... No, you can't miss. No, you're right behind her with it. It's not like you have a gun from a distance. Sure. So never mind. You can't miss. Uh, okay. Do you want to knock her out or kill her? Oh, knock her out. Okay. Like Kim's like then... visibly shaking as he brings the bow down. Yeah. Um, if you couldn't miss, simply inflict harm. Inflict harm is established. So stun s harm is dealt to her, um, and she is knocked out. Uh, Kim's like sh shaking. He's like. Help me. Help me get her to the tank. The tank? <laughs> you just say that in character too. Like, yeah, that's exactly what, what it says. Tank. tank. <laughs> and I think like Kim like pushes a a button on the wall and like this the part of the floor opens. And is it is it a pool with sharks with lasers on their head? Like, what, what are you some kind of fucking Bond villain? You've got a receding floor yes. with a tank in it. <laughs> I was gonna say these guys have to build this for you. Like, are you just like starting making shit up about a lays now, or what? <laughs> and like, I'm gonna dump her in the tank, and then the tank's gonna raise out of the floor. <laughs> So is, it, is this like a Bakta tank kind exactly. of thing? What? What? Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay that, that would be I mean, like original <laughs> pitch towards the people building it, but then you just pull a lever and it's chunk, chunk. <laughs> <in the ceiling. laughs> exactly. Right. It's <laughs> actually a blender. <laughs> you know I see, I, I got like a flushing mechanism out in the back. You know, if I don't like um, what's in the tank. It's gonna go. So I don't think they could do the whole thing out of glass, but I think it's metal with a glass window. Sure, that's fine. I just think having a back to tank would be really cool. <laughs> but it doesn't fit. I don't think. I don't think it fits uh, with this like metal oil rig type of thing. All right. Um. So. Yeah. The, the I mean, is is there is there a tank? What what is it's what the is the isolation on? tank? <laughs> no, a, a tank is fine as long as okay. Like, yeah, it's just sort of like a, a coma tank. So I can't have okay. it full of like breathing Not water actively. or anything. Damn. I think you have to have like like there's there probably some sort of like um adapted yeah scuba gear. If I was like on, on, put them put on their mouth. Okay. Yeah, um, sure. And then like warm water that to yeah w water. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what it is. So, it's 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 the tank you put people in when they have hypothermia. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's that. There you go. Okay. Perfect. But it's yeah. like it's the lavage glass. tank. It's probably glass so you can see in there. Well, yeah. And it's been it's been filled with like antibiotics and yeah. Probably some kind of tranquilizing sleep drug. Now, um she's a plant person. So many of those might not work or work differently right. or think yeah. Also, she can't. Yeah, breathe. we're not thinking about that. This is an emergency. And she goes, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I know. Um, Comes like, all right, we should be safe for a moment. <sighs> this is too early. I've, I wanted a willing subject for my experiments. Yeah, I'm not sure how. I'm gonna to react to you wanting to <laughs> experiment on a plant. I gotta, it's a thing. How do you think? Um, what do you want me to do then? <sighs> Kim's like obviously like not ready for this. Yeah. Uh, I think he just says, "Call the shepherds." 
tell them you caught their quarantine. Oh. But they'll take her away. They will lock her up. What about you? What, what, what about me? Uh, <laughs> when the shepherds come, they'll see you. They'll no, shoot you. They will not. I will be gone. Oh. Just put a lampshade on your head. <laughs> okay. He's got he's got a big like cement pot in the corner, and I just go stand in it. <laughs> if, if that's what you want, how, how I'm how, a tree. How will I get in touch with you? Use the plant signal. No, <laughs> brilliant. It's just like a leaf. Yeah, it's a. What we did is we just took a Canadian flag and strapped it over a searchlight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, like no, he says, he says, I will be around. Uh, okay, so you're still Batmaning it. Yeah, okay. still Batmaning it. I think Kim's like just too afraid. Doesn't know what's going on in the situation. Um... Let me look at read a person again. This sounds like a charged situation. Yeah. Um, I I think as a as a gesture of good faith and and, and because he wants to know how it works. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I think like. Yeah, Twigsby like leaves a seed. One of the one oh, of the. Oh no. One okay. of those things like. On, Do you on the have counter. To cough up a seed. I mean, I, I figure that if the mask wants me to like, it just grows spread up. these things. I, I figure I can pull one out of somewhere at Hammer Space, whatever. Yeah. So I, okay. I think Whisk knows what this is, but Kim has no idea. Well, what is this? It makes us. Okay. Find out how. I'll do that. And then Kim, Kim gets like tongs, like two feet long, and, like gets this, <laughs> and like puts it, puts it in the uh, the sample. What I call it, the sample locker, and he like presses the lock button. Beep, everything's locked up. Okay. Um, I think. Well, I think as you you as you put down the seed, um, Twigsby, the flower that grew from your vision, um, the like the whole thing just sort of like detaches from your mask and like floats down and lands next to the seed, the like small purple flower. It's like yeah. okay, well, yeah, it goes with it. Okay, I mean, do, do I have any creepy flowers any... laying around? Do I have any intuition as to what that means, or or is this still new territory? Um, I don't know. I, I, it, it's a. I know the type of flower. Well, let me uh, read a sitch. Let's, let's read a sitch. <laughs> yeah. Here goes my zero. No, no. <laughs> um. Well. Um. Ask one anyway, but be prepared Ask for the worst. Anyway. So, uh... I, I guess the only thing that really fits here is what should I be on the lookout for flowery plant-wise? Yeah. <laughs> um... Let me let me let me put this. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what. Um, I think you have another quick vision. Um, you are standing. Um, it, it it's another like vision of the other the 
like through the psychic maelstrom. Um, I don't think you're standing in the graveyard this time, though. I think you're standing um, in the middle of not really like like in the middle of a lake um, in a large verdant forest. <laughs> you're standing like ankle deep for you um, in a lake. Um, and then yeah, you hear it's it's the the father's voice, but this time not speaking through Grigsby's vo old voice. Um, this time it's just like the, the, the low and deep one that Kim heard before. And all you, all, it's just quick. It's not like you really have a chance to interact back. It's just, um, I'm disappointed, Aster. I think I'll have to find someone else. And that's it. You should be on the lookout for another chosen one. Good. Does that uh, mean he's going to leave me the hell alone with the mask? And the... <laughs> actually, yes. For the most part, you can send it out to him, but he won't be bothering you as much. Um, and he called you Aster. Aster? The same species of flower that just dropped from your mask. Oh, okay. I thought you said the word pastor. I thought you were doing this weird religious angel thing. There, there's the, the picture. Yes. All right, yeah, so is what, what, what does that mean in yeah. weird stuff? Um, I had a thing that showed what it meant. But... Yeah. It. I was looking for flower names. That's what it means. Oh, okay. So you're so you're not using it as a talisman of love and a and a symbol of patience. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. No. All right. I mean, if you want to play that like that. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what he was hoping for, but not anymore. Um, and then, yeah, the, like it's a, it's a quick sort of flash vision, um, more more meaningful than just the mask speaking into you. And uh, yeah. Well, good. Got that monkey off my back. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, you yep. took that move, so. And there's a knock at the door. Kim goes. Is that, is that cliffhanger? Look. It could be a cliffhanger. Um, do we want to cliffhanger it? There is. I do have a scene for, for Whisk. Yeah, sure, do I mean, yeah, we can, we can keep going. I don't care. That's good. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there's a knock at the door, um, and then, then we fade from there. We go to commercial break and come back. Um, Whisk, it is that same night. Mm -hmm. And there is... You're at home, I presume, because it's pretty late. Um, yeah. There's another knock on your door. It's it's someone else. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll. Uh... You answer it, and it is. Um... You had people watching Litz, or not? A little bit. I think I had someone to like check up on her every once in a while, but not like an active. Not like any yeah. bodyguards. Okay. Um. It like it's it's that person. So maybe this this probably something you trust a lot. So maybe this person is uh Roth. Okay. Himself and he he. He looks for you at you for a second. There's blood on his face, and he just looks horror struck. He says, it's Litz. Someone attacked her. They're bringing her to Kim's right now. Come with me. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go with. Um, and yeah, you, like you two, we see you two running down. Um, and you probably meet up with some more of your... Uh, I, I think these are actually probably just... Um, I think Litz's sister is there. I think someone, her two kids aren't. I think they, they were there and got told to stay behind. 
but I don't think they're listening. I actually think they are following, um, and no one's stopping them. I think that, uh, yeah, there's. I don't think you've met these people. They're just like Lich's friends or something like that. Just people who are nearby, mm -hmm. and they're like carrying, like run, running, carrying her to uh, down to the docking bay where Kim is. Um, and then on the way, um, Roth just says, "I don't even know who shot her. They were like hiding their identities. They're, they're like hooded." Uh, it was like three people. Um, I think they just like lined up by the door, but didn't even open it. They shot her through the window, and I like tried to yell, but they were, yeah, I didn't, I I couldn't. I just hope she makes it. Yeah, I mean, like this. Whisk is like speechless, you know, just like take taking it in. Like, who the fuck could have done that? Who the fuck would have done that? Right? Yep. Because, like, as as far as I was aware, the only person with beef is Kim. Yeah, as far as you're aware, this was taken care of. Um, and and Broth is like, this was something professional. This wasn't like like three people. Yeah. Fuck. Um, and then I think you get like you guys are rushing, so you guys get to the the place um, in the middle of the mm -hmm. night, and yeah, the same knock on the door uh, comes in from the other perspective. All right, so Kim's like giving Grigsby a, a look. You know he's Grigsby yet? It's like someone's here. You have to hide. I'm just kind of looking around, like this is a where like <laughs> in the, the drug Huge. behind the drug door, <laughs> the drug door. <laughs> there's a drug cabinet you can hide in it's empty I haven't put any drugs in it yet but no one will look in there alright yeah I'll go you're go okay hide in the thing actually no I'll just like go in and close the door and stand behind the door now like, hold up sure. <laughs> there are still two unconscious bodies here that's fine the, the two guards Okay. Just sprinkle a little mind. crack on him. It's fine. <laughs> Kim goes and opens the door. Oh, someone's here. So you help. open the front I need door? Help. Yeah, I open the door. I'm like, I need help. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you, you see, like, whisk, broth, and um, they're carrying of all people lit to you. I can just uh, out a couple of other, like, civilians. So, sorry, what do you do? Kim gets out of the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they, they rush her in and lay her on, like, the nearest empty table. And yeah, I get and I then... get my medical kit, and I go over right away. Yeah. Someone, thank God you're here. I was attacked. Uh-huh. Whisk, Kim. you... You might what be the first fuck? one to see... Like, no one else is paying attention to, like, the other bodies. They're, like, near the drug lab on the far end. Everyone else is paying attention to Litz. You might uh, be the first uh. one to see it. There's also, like, cool lights emanating from the not a vector tank. And very carefully, on uh, the side of the window is, like, one eye of a mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, a, it's just a piece of wood decoration. <laughs> oh, totally. You man. are looking, I... You are looking, I imagine. Are you? Uh, Zen, are you are you looking out the window? Uh yeah, because he if you, he heard if you move. You don't look Whisk's, like a person. Yeah, he heard Whisk's voice. So okay. cool. Yeah, Whisk just gets in here and she's just like, Kim, what the fuck happened? <laughs> it was. Hey, what's her name? It was doesn't Kendall. matter. Shut up, help Blitz. Okay. So I stabilize. <laughs> so I need to spend a stock to do this. Yes, uh, she's been shot multiple times. Um, okay. I believe yeah, I still only so... need to spend one. You're correct. She only, you only, no matter what, if it's an NPC, one stock guaranteed stabilization. So yeah, I just do it. There's no prompts. You just need to do it. If you would like to heal her, it's up to you. Yes. You you do have the opportunity to say. She's beyond my care. I'll kill her whisk later. Will be, 
just fix that problem <laughs> right now. Okay, that was very casual of you to say. Yeah. Um, it's fine. Okay, cool. Then, uh... Kim knows this it, game. Are you kidding? Yeah. It takes, like, she's been shot a couple times. It may take one stock, but it probably takes a couple, like, hours. Um, to Is there time to for me to make on. sure that the other people that were knocked out are stabilized? They were just knocked out, so... Yeah, I mean... You don't need to. When you were doing that, I was probably checking on them. You know, like, they're still breathing. It's fine. They would wake up, like, during this time while you're performing surgery. Sure. Um, so I'm gonna like Kim. You can talk because I don't think there's anything like a, a separate surgical room for anything yeah. like this. You're just you're just there performing surgery and can still talk while doing it. Um, well, yeah, I think Kim is like, oh gosh, this has been awake for so long. This need to help. Let's need to need to call the shepherds. I don't um, know. I don't know how long she'll remain unconscious. One of the, I think, actually, um, Broth says, I, no, Broth is like one of the only armed people here, and I think a whisk. He knows about the whole Kim situation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he we would want to stay here. Um, so I think one of he tells one of the other people that came here just to go get the shepherds. Get and he's just like get fleece herself if you can, but anyone. Um, and yeah, they they two of them probably I, go together. I, I can I can hear all this, right? If you're yeah, if you're trying to listen, okay. yeah, you can. Um, yeah, I think at that point, since you know being trapped in a back room with shepherds that are you know probably have you know at least access to weed killer. <laughs> <laughs> the spray bottles. Uh, yeah, the door, like, opens up. Uh, trying to think of the the cool Schwarzenegger one-liner to say, but I'm not, I'm coming up blank here. Um, yeah. but, yeah, I, I think he says, they will not be needed yet. Uh -huh. right, okay, scary green man. No, no, I don't. Um... All right. Let's um before we go, um Kim, it was a revolver that I stole, right? Yeah. Okay, I pull that. Um me? <laughs> okay. You pull that. <laughs> um, I think. Well, um are you so going aggro on them? Uh, I I'm not actually okay. uh as the, the, the I'm assuming the gun is being leveled on me. Yeah. Uh, I, I, Twigsby looks at you. I'm just a little and, bit and jumpy. I think, and, and I think, and I think we can close on this. He just says, "Hello, Whisk." <laughs> All right. Okay. Pretty good. Perfect. Well, next session it has to be like Whisk all the time. We made you sit in the corner <laughs> forever. Uh, well, yes, but also had like an, an hour long scene, I think, yeah. mm -hmm. of your own. But yeah, multiplayer scenes are ideal, and I think next session that won't be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Finally. We're going to yep. crack together unlocks. on some stuff. Get good at AW. Pretty much. Okay. Um, yeah. How how did XP go? I'm just curious because I don't well, see I any. I don't see that. I don't know anything about the XP. Yeah, I, I am how one away, go. which I think I'm probably going to get when we do X. I, I picked up imagine. Visions of Death, so next time I get into a battle, you can just throw out all your plans. <laughs> Yay. My plans are all like every session. I'm what, like, if, what if this is going to happen with the plant people? <laughs> nope. What like, what is visions of death like? What what is that? When you go do? into battle, roll weird. <laughs> okay. A uh, ten plus. That's... Name one person who dies and one person who lives. 
<laughs> okay, well, we'll be interfering with that one pretty fucking. <laughs> you can't name one our person. Player characters. It, don't, don't name a player character. Name NPCs only. Okay. The MC will make your vision come true if it's even remotely possible. Nice. So you you literally have the AW equivalent or of uh, save or die. <laughs> Basically. Basically. Yep. Like, oh man, I just realized how hard of a move I'm gonna. If if you do get roll a six minus, that's gonna uh, in order to like yeah. balance the scale of that out. And I'm gonna really see your move. own death. Yeah. <laughs> negative one throughout the panel. Oh, do, it doesn't say expect the worst because that no, means I don't it doesn't. move. No, okay, I, then I, I don't just see my have to pull. own death. And assumingly, that's like your warning to get the fuck out of the battle. And minus one during a battle is itself really bad, because that's when you really don't want to roll sixes. Yeah. Oh, but does it apply to a harm move? If it's throughout the battle, then yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, then it might be plus one. Who knows? I didn't say that. Uh, it says battle moves. That's not a, a harm. It doesn't not a battle say move. battle moves. It doesn't. It just says moves. Just take while negative one on everything. Literally everything. I will check. What, what playbook is it? Is it Angel? No, it's uh, from Battle Babe. You battle said, right? Battle Babe. Um, I will look at that. Why don't you guys do Hex, then? I think Greg's me definitely knows me. All right. There's, there's um, what I needed. Being... So here, here's a, a question I have. Um, do you accept the name Aster? Because I think that might be a theme if you if you reject it. You can be like, people might keep trying to pin names on you, and you might just keep uh, not accepting them um, until you find someone names you something that you do. Because you mentioned you want someone else to name you. Yeah, I think for now we'll we'll... I will refer to myself as Aster, just <laughs> to clear up this nonsense of not having something to call this character. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. But, yeah, if anybody wants to lay down some nomenclature on this thing, feel free. Well, I don't have anything like that. But I do think no. Pastor would have been cool. Pastor or pastor? Pastor. Past P A S T O R. Okay. Then they get the you can get the pastor and the father and the sister. Oh yeah. And the nun thing. And yeah. The the reverend. There is, there is yeah. mild trick stuff going on, <laughs> but you were more the jo the book of Joshua, which is the one where they take the land through violence. Mm. So. I need to read the Bible again, because the book of Joshua didn't spring forth anything to me. I was like, what? <laughs> it wasn't, it was large scope. It was, and here were a lot of battle summaries. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, more hexes. Did we all do them? I thought we didn't. I just uh, did Yeah. yeah. No, I'm going to, I'm going to. Say that Kim definitely gets a plus one from me on this one. All right. Um, I don't think I really interacted with another player character in this session. So, like, uh... crap, that's true. But you can choose who knows you worse, and then choose arbitrarily if you'd like to. Yep. Kim, you know me worse. All right. I have now a, a hex of zero with both of you. Yes. When hex resets, it goes to one or zero. Uh, to one. 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 I believe. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So that now, got me my next improvement, which yeah. really nice because I took battle hardened from the gun lugger. Oh shit! When you act, when you act under fire, or when you stand overwatch, roll plus hard instead of plus cool. So, mask be damned. <laughs> yeah. I do what I want. Yeah, I really <laughs> like that. Because then, well, there's less consequence, less negative consequences to even you asking your mask for advice. You can just be like, screw you, dad. I do what I want. But yep. tell me anyways, so I can decide what? if I want to do what I want. <laughs> Whatever, I do what I want. <laughs> so how many XP did you get off of my... Um, 
my inspiring move. Because every time um, you help me, you get an advance. Yeah, ju just the one, yeah. because I actually have to roll hex in order to get it. Oh, last okay. time yeah. was yeah. just an automatic. Yeah, That's you true. didn't need to roll, so no help roll was I wanted to roll higher, because <laughs> that would have gotten a check, too. Oh. You need to put yourself in worse fictional positioning. Or just start threatening people a lot. Yeah. <laughs> if you just swung at her, like, without sneaking up on her from behind, then oh, you no. would have rolled hard. I'm a positional fiction master. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm too so, good. Just, so next time before you swing, just go, hey, bitch! And just. <laughs> yeah, that'd be enough. <laughs> sure, I mean, Whisk's right here and she has my gun. I want that back. Oh man, I just think okay. Despite the fact that technically not much time in the like game world passed during this scene, there's a like more. M my ideas for the plant things are changing for some of them, not all of them. Man, it's been a my... busy day, huh? Yeah. Oh, another thing I wanted to ask you: What is my harm? I feel oh, like... yeah, because that could heal over time, and you healed one already. But did I get harmed this session? Not that I know of. Like, you've established so. harm, and then we've taken moves where theoretically I should trade harm? But you never told me to take uh, harm. You no, were suckering. We you were suckering, so you were just inflicting never, harm. You we were never trading. Never Even when harm. we were out on the ice, I could swear we traded harm. And I rolled a 12 plus. And you did. Oh, that's right. That, that, I forgot. You, you that said that she was shooting at you. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Uh, that's because and I forgot. I'm pretty sure that when I was rolling around the floor because Whisk was shooting at me last time, I should have took harm. But again, you never um, told you me how much harm I take. You're right in that I didn't. Um, that was based off of what What was your gang's harm, um, Whisk? Um, my gang's harm is three. So I would have okay. mitigated by two harm. Mitigated armor. by one armor, yeah, two harm. And then how much harm did I take from? Um, now you had two armor. Yeah, you had two armor then. So. Yeah, I don't know if you took any. Okay, well, I don't. Well, no, she. Well, it would also depend gun. on your choices. It was the magnum was one. Um, and that's what she had. So that was she. Because the guy had the three SMG. So, you took so they would have had three harm. Yeah, you took the magnum was three harms, so you would have taken one more harm. Okay, so I yes, should, should be at like... actually be at ten o'clock, unless some of this no, has you healed were... over time. You you only took two from the the gang because you had one armor then, right? right. Or yes. no? But I already had a harm at the time. Oh, did you? Because, yeah. okay. dude, I've been getting into some shit. <laughs> okay, but that but that harm was from like the whole gang thing, right? Yeah, one of it already healed. That uh, yeah, that that would have healed. No, I had it two. Was, it was two harm. One, I of, two. Oh, okay. one of them already healed. I'm not counting. And that then one. A, oh, okay. Yeah, and then you got hurt again, so it would it would have been past automatic healing. Um, so I so yeah, I think you might be at. I should be at ten o'clock. Is there any way I can heal myself? You would have been able to heal yourself. Yeah, you maybe you got back. Um, like beginning of session, you got back from everything and you were you were bleeding out. Um let's see. After nine o'clock on more serious, here we go. After nine o'clock it will get worse by itself. Um so yeah, you, you would need to work on yourself. I would have now let me see. I probably would have healed myself before I went out. Oh yes. No, I, I actually that also makes sense. Um If I can't heal myself, if I needed to. Right. I'm just saying this now. I... But I think I need to, you know. I'd say if you want to just compromise it, put him right at where it's not going to get worse and just call mm -hmm. it even and so nine fix, it, then, fix it next session. Sure. You know? Yeah, yeah that's true. Okay. That, that <clears> makes <throat> the most sense. You would have healed at one o'clock beforehand. Let's just say you did. Um, so you're at nine now. All so right, it's I'm not going to get worse, but you're just the same. Until and how do I heal myself? Do I do the angel move on myself? You would have done the angel move out yourself. Yeah, um, yeah. You just roll plus stock spent, and then you would have to do it again. Uh, well, let's but say I you want someone at three or six o'clock. Don't roll. Oh, never mind. They choose, so it would be you choose still. You spend one stock in four days or a week. Um, 
Okay. Now this this might be the previous edition that I'm thinking of, but I think there was a thing where angels, when they work on themselves, have to do it under fire instead of stock spent. Um, I think I don't know if that's official, but that's just like the it makes sense. Um. <clears throat> hmm. But you still spend the stock. Obviously. I think you still spend the stock. It's just you also act under fire for working on yourself often. If it's something serious, like it would be for this nine o'clock. But to heal that one harm from earlier, um, it says you don't yeah. roll. You just choose if you want to spend one stock. Um, or not. They, they, they get to choose, the person taking it, whether you have to spend one stock or not. Um, and then it takes four days for you to heal one harm, which you had between sessions. Uh, it was I, I imagine each, for the most part, each session that has a time skip, I... I assume it to be about a week okay um, could be totally wrong um so, so do you want me to spend a stock and then i heal you, naturally yeah. um it's it says Did it's I... literally up to the person receiving it do you do you spend one stock to do it pain-free or not if like well if i was it, i does this take me out of the game for this long basically it's a past tense thing but i think if you were doing if you were in agony like everyone else, you wouldn't have been able to really easily work. So I think one stock makes the most sense. Oh, okay. So this is a, if you don't spend a stock or something. If you don't spend a stock, you're in agony. If you do spend a stock, you can still do other stuff and are... And are uh, I'm going to spend a stock. Because that would have allowed you to do things like your gig for drugs. and for Yeah, I, I need that. Drugs. Oh, and by the way, did I get any... You got the... Th I think... Um, for yeah, that. Got the three bar this because okay. we also saw Ba come to you and Ba, Ba orders in bulk. Let's just put it that way. Sure. So I'm gonna mark off a supply. I think this is actually wrong. Oh no, because I I spent a supply to heal NPC, which I don't know why I did that. Okay, so I'll go down to six o'clock. How many times can I do this? Oh no, no! Don't don't spend a stock. You only spend a stock when healing at, well, if you're at three o'clock or six o'clock. But this yeah. is the stock. Once you're at nine o'clock, I would a different have thing entirely. I would have been at three o'clock when nine I did this. Yes, so that's fine. That's one harm. Bring now down from 10 I take two now to nine. Oh, okay. So now I'm gonna be at nine o'clock because I took two harm. Yes. And that's what we'll deal with next session. Um, can um, I think I should actually look at that twelve plus because I can choose to take less harm, right? We didn't. Uh, we you can you can harm. choose you can choose to take less harm. So um, I could just I probably would have chosen to take less harm. Let me take a look at the yeah, bring it down to zero or bring that down to zero harm um, because that was a basic move. I went. What I do? I seized. You seized her control life. of her, her, like her life and skis. Life and skis. Where's that? No, see, yeah, seize control is a thing, um, and you can choose to deal great harm, which she would have died anyways. Um, she was only one harm away from dying. Uh, take less harm, and then get uncontrollable. Un, un, what is it? Definite and take well, definite hold of it. Well, I don't need either of those because. They'd be dead. Yep. So, so let me take just less take less harm. Less. There we go. So now I'm at six. So, so okay. now do I spend one stock for each level of harm I want to heal? It also takes four days, and I don't think it's been four days. You can spend the stock now to have it not affect you, because you're still on drugged up, but you haven't actually physically healed yet. You're still injured, but you don't feel it because of the drugs. I have to use more drugs? You spend one stock for you okay. For both? If you're at you're at you're at six o'clock now, right? Yeah. You spend one stock to heal both circles. Not not each, just one for both. Um But you have to spend or, one take, week list out on chill stabs, immobile but happy. Or else yeah. you Oh immobile. Okay. 
So or else really... they do their time in agony like everyone else. Yeah. Okay, so you are in agony. Yeah, I'm going to be in agony because... We'll keep that in mind. I need... I'm, I'm kind of running low on supply, basically. Yeah. So yeah. So you don't. So you don't have to spend that stock then. Just yeah. so that's. I won't you don't spend the stock. It. Yeah. Um, and then we we didn't roll this, but fictionally, um, Kim has been acting under fire this whole time for being in agony. Oh She's really? Back. Damn. So they they've been they've been tough. All right. Well, that explains um, why he's so freaked out. Yep. I mean, I, I knew he's not oh, cool, but also yeah, this is. As long as we're clearing other things up, um, the, a supplier, like you chose to take a supplier, is, is actually defined on 234. Uh, oh. Is it NPC who can reliably deliver medical supplies? So, like, yeah. maybe there's someone living on the ship that can bring you those supplies? Well, we I talked about that, that you asked for an alternative, right? Yeah. I wanted okay. a location wanted instead of a person, and we were cool with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It is a threat. It is a threat. Um, the, the radar's finding it being the threat. Yeah. But you you dealt with that. Yeah. I killed everybody. You also dragged the corpses away, which is basically leaving a big trail straight to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> or away. Well, away in two is the same thing, bud. Yeah, it just depends on what side of the line I you start following. <laughs> I just thought of a thing, and it's gonna be good. I mean, if they can track that, they could have tracked in the snowmobile treads too. So, the, like this, yeah, the snowmobile treads, the sh ski treads, um, which is always pretty gonna be there. windy. There's not a whole lot I can do. About <laughs> that. Yeah, it's pretty windy, um, so it's mm -hmm. difficult. I mean, it's but fine if that comes back to haunt me, but. These guys do live in the wilderness, so we'll see. I just don't want, like, literally every session being... And another thing happens at the boat. I kill them all. <laughs> I kill them all every single time, Tremor. And then I loot uh, them. And then I give we'll the see. weapons to my friends. And... <laughs> we'll I'm see. a PC. So there you go. You go out about once a week? Seems reasonable. Okay. Um, I mean, unless you let me go there... Specifically to get more stock than I would normally be able to. You can, because like if your supplier would be an NPC, then you could like they are they still function as an NPC, which okay. means in the fiction you could go to them to get more stock than they would normally give so you. So I might end up doing that. Well, the the supplier thing actually says delivers, so you're you're actually screwing yourself a little bit by having it be a location that you have to go to. Oh yeah, I know. Because because yeah. normally this would be an NPC that brings that shit to you. At the beginning of each se each session, regardless, unless the GM takes it away. At right. the beginning of the next session, Kim excuses themselves to go out on to the boat for a while. <laughs> or yeah, you, you you guys talk about the plant monsters. I got I got a thing. Uh... Yeah, yeah I immediately <laughs> split the party again. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but I think yeah, it's it is meant to be a threat. But while it you still have it, it's still meant to basically automatic. Um, okay. Yeah. I guess I should have taken one more stock than normal, but whatever. We'll we'll go there when I'm low on stock, and they'll be like, oh, yeah. "There's fifty bandits." Well, I think maybe like automatically you you always get one stock, sense. right? Yeah, I always get one like from that stock session. So like maybe I don't even have to explain where I get it from. Yeah. So maybe going to the boat successfully offers you a more stock that you can get i don't know that's why that, that might be being too yeah. nice no that's the th that's the thing um <laughs> okay yeah or or it sets you up to be able to make those drugs for your gig or whatever like it, it's a it's a it, it's one link in the chain to a gig yeah. i guess theoretically i could even get another angel kit from something like that Oh, that seems um, like some bullshit to me. Yeah. Now, I have one more thing. Um, during downtime, you have been working on a workshop project for how to cure these people. And yeah. you have done it before. Like, you had already been working on it. Um, yeah. So let's look at that. 
All right, where is it? Is Aug is it here? Workshop? Nope, I have to go to the Savvy Head. Yeah, it's, it's in the Savvy Head. Also, notice that I'm going to add it to head. the peripheral moves handout sure. because now it's a thing. I actually put it on my character sheet too. Okay, it's under the. Oh, uh, it's... And if you want to get more detailed, there's a thing on 240 in the book for workspaces. Okay. Yeah. So the angel doesn't have the option to improve the workspace. But there is an option that the savvy head has to like get a high-tech piece of equipment for your well, workspace. Well, you don't technically have a workspace. You can work you have a laboratory that you can work on people like than like a okay, so it's not a workspace. You don't actually okay. have a workspace. It's just the same question. When it says you get an infirmary, which is a workspace with life support, a drug lab, and a crew to it. Then never mind. You have a workspace. Yeah. Um, but there's no options for me to improve the workspace? Yeah. And I think that's intended because the Savvy Head is the workspace person. Um, I, don't, I don't think you're, an angel is meant to have like the best workspace right let's see here let's look at the differences but let me check it you can get a move from another playbook let's see if there are no moves that let me improve the workspace okay i mean theoretically uh, i can just tell you i want to do a workspace project to install this bullshit i pulled out of somewhere else that's high tech and then you could pick four of these and make me pay for it through the nose yeah, uh, it specifically says, yeah, um, improving your workspace can be a workspace project. Yeah. So. All right. We'll get to that. And, I, and actually, right. one of the things is you're going to have to add blank to your workspace, work, workplace first. So. Right. Yeah. Um, they kind of intend, not intend, but they, for the larger projects, they intend these to nest a bit. Yeah. Okay. So, so I guess it's up to you, like, I want to be able to cure people of the plant thing, which entails knowledge of the plant things. So I guess it's up to you to pick out how many of these I have to deal with before. Yeah. This is a pretty big deal. Um, you're going to have to... <laughs> <laughs> that is loud. That okay. is really loud. You're going to have to take Kettle apart. All right. It. Um, it is going to take... Um, how many on average? It's going to take weeks of work. Okay. Um, and by this is dedicated work, like sure. you wouldn't be working a gig, you wouldn't have time like that. Like, if you would maybe treat some people, but you wouldn't be able to work a gig by doing this, sure. it'd be exclusive time. Um, and then I, I'll I'll say how many weeks because it's I think it matters um, in terms of time skips, but I don't know if it matters. Oh, we'll get to that. Um, and then one more thing. Um, you're going to need Hoss's help. Okay. So, we'll see how this goes. Because yeah. the question is, is Kim willing to murder for this? So Kim is a killer, to be sure. But this is something else entirely. You literally would have to dissect her. Yeah. Like, um, I think I think with samples, uh, maybe you would realize this now. Um, you are at your limit for like the amount a single sample can, right. like the amount of information you can get from. Like, if you want to cure this, it would be emotionally trying and just difficult. I, I think I have a workaround you it, there. You do it. But we'll see. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't have to be kettle specifically. If you take apart a plant person. No, I mean I, I can take kettle apart. Maybe okay. she's already dead though. Yeah, but 
Yeah. yeah, you have to take a plant person apart. I mean, someone has to die. Did I not write that down? I but considering the nature of the plant thing, what is it really mm-hmm. death to them? Well, it's dying. Plants dying can is still dead. die. I mean, but she'll live on forever with the plant. I mean, yeah, that's... That's, <laughs> that's not really what she said. Well, that's what I could say, I believe. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, but that's my reasoning or, for doing it. Is when it, I start my religion, that's something. going to be in the book. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I think. All right. Do you have anything else to cover? Is there another uh, thing you'd like gosh. to do with your workspace? Because you can start multiple projects at once. I want to have drugs that work on plant people. I think that comes af- after, like, figuring out how plant people work. You yeah. can probably do that. Um, what type of drugs? I can just make some of the thing- requirements for this the same as the requirements for the other one. So when you're partially done one, well, you're partially done the other. Like, theoretically, Kim could still be convinced that the plant people are good. So let's look at painkillers and tranquilizers. I want narco like stabs. Good. Okay, so good work. drugs. Yeah, I basically I mean, want do, narco stabs to work on them. Technically, like, okay. Do we grow poppies in the in the hydroponics lab? Because I mean, flower to flower should work Poppy, fine. <laughs> and the thing is, like, technically, weed killers are drug. Yeah. So I was, I, that's why I was double checking. You could grow like a, a weapon, a drug weapon against the plants. Um, okay, so let's see. You want narco stabs that work, work on plants? Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, uh, it says you're well, let me look at what options you have to add to your workplace so that I know if I that those should ever be true. Okay, um, garage, you must dark room, controlled growing environment, skilled labor. A junkyard of raw materials, a truck of machine tools, mass electronics. Oh, well, I don't think those are actually things I add to my workspace. Those are things you add, I believe. And um, those are things a savvy head adds. Um, if you look at the uh, angel move, it has that CF in parentheses. Uh, it means to confer, and what you what it actually means is look at the other thing and consider the situation. Yeah. So, like. Make make. Here's the thing, yeah. right? Make 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 things that that would Our, work if, in an infirmary, not in a workspace. If, you know, if you pick one of those things, then I have to find a way to make a move to get those things. Yeah, you already have a. And drug there's lab, no such thing. So I think you're fine for that. Okay. We have a hydroponics lab. I need um, a hydroponics lab. No, you're saying we have a hydroponics lab. Okay. In, in but I need way, access not... to it? Yeah, you need to bribe Mimi, is what you need to do. Okay. Yeah, you're going to need <laughs> Mimi to help you with it. That's going to be the first thing, then. Okay, I need um, Mimi's help. It's going... And, and then, uh... I don't think that's true. Um... I don't think... Oh, uh, it's going to take... Yeah, I, I think it's going to take... Uh, does like... It would be dozens or hundreds of tries for tests. Usually for like most drug tr- drug trials, it's hundreds of tries. Um, but I think for this case, you just want something that works and it's kind of rough. I think. Um, Need dozens of. It'll be it's like dozens of attempts to get it right. Uh, it's trials? very it's similar tries. It's similar to like it's going to take hours, days, weeks. It's just another option there. Sure. Um, yeah, All and right. then this is a minor thing. There is a third one. Um, it's going to mean exposing yourself plus your staff and bodyguards to danger if because you I think you would have to test them on a person to make sure it works, of sure. course. Um if they react badly, you don't know what could happen to them. Like if they go if a plant person goes on a roid rage, what does that mean? Right. So that would be an uh, you would expose them okay. to danger from from a Plant roid rage. Okay. Yeah, you you could put them into germination mode or something. It's just no good. <laughs> yeah. 
and destroy all humans. Finally, since we are going down the drug route, I want to be able to slip something into my drugs that will make everyone who takes them unconscious for 24 hours. You want an apocalypse, Mickey. <laughs> now you want to slip them already into your drugs. I want to be able to insert this into my drug when I decide, and then everyone falls asleep during a time period I have decided. Okay. Um, during a time period you decided? Like like it's you've like got a you, button or something that just activates it? Like, you know, I want it's, them to all fall asleep the next day for 24 hours. Or in eight day. hours for 24 hours, you know. Like, I don't give all the drugs to people at once. Right? So... I would want to have um, some way of time release, so at least yeah. once it happens, it's too late to stop. Yeah, that's the thing. Like it's it's in the center of the drug. Yeah. Um, okay. I want time release ability to put everyone Sedatives. taking my drugs to sleep. Okay. Um. You already have a drug lab. You don't have to take anything apart. I don't think it takes that many tries. I think you don't need anyone's help. Um, I think it will take days to get everything sorted for that okay. and to make the drugs. And the last thing is that the best you can do is a craft version where you can unreliable. What that means, I think, in this situation, will make that a custom move when you when you give them all those right. drugs. Um, and so it'll I have all of those guaranteed. It'll probably be like choose some of those effects. The, the specific thing is, we'll, we'll talk about this later. But I have a specific thing I want to happen, and I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I want to have it up my sleeve. So we'll talk about yeah. it. Uh, not not that I'm outing myself as anything that anyone that took a lot of drugs earlier in my life, but <laughs> but. It might expose you to danger as well because uh, uh, someone that's used to taking certain drugs can notice things about drugs when they're not what they're supposed to be. Right, that might be part of the custom move. I mean, yeah. if they take the drug... Do you have a name for this drug in mind? Because I'm making a custom move now. Um, it's called Transcendence. Ooh, I like it. Sentence. That that's awful floaty and, and happy sounding for some for a place that's like got a problem with people being happy. <laughs> yeah. And that's why it's a good drug. Um Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I don't know if I want to tell everybody what my plan is. I want to clear it with you first before we get to that stage where I want to trigger it. Well, let me double check which stat would make the most sense for this. Um, I think it would be sharp for administering the right dosage. Okay. Yeah. Which I know is your, I think that's your main stat. That's my main stat, yeah. Yeah, but it, it makes the most sense. You're being smart about it. Um... I'll make the I'll we'll talk about it in Discord chat anyways. I'll, yeah. I'll I'll create cool. it and we'll we'll refine it to make sure it works properly and it does everything you want while still making sense. I just uh, just had a little idea. Instead of sharp, maybe it's weird and maybe he does have some control over when it activates. Maybe it's a, a maelstrom sensitive drug. That could be cool. Uh, do you want to, <laughs> Yeah, that's literally up to you, Golden. That would be plus weird. Then I could be dosing people with it all the time. And then they wouldn't the fucking water know this thing is weird. Um, yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's say it's weird. So, okay. it's not time-released, it's... It's, like, mentally triggered? Male, yeah, mind. Um, how do you... Is it, like, is it when you make the drug, do you link it to you? Yeah. Okay. How? <laughs> it's made from his... Uh, cerebral fluid, like he has to pull oh my fluid out of his brain and put it in there. Oh 
I mean, this, yeah. I think that's perfect. Wow. There's some of my strobo fruit fluid. So if anyone else uh, wants to make drugs, just just need a, a really big needle. Yeah, I think that also like limits the scope of it kind of a little bit, so you can't go like nuts because if you too, take too much fluid out of your brain, you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I don't know if you'll have a ton of it, and I want to be able to affect a large portion of the rig at some point at the same time. Yeah. I mean that's that's possible. I I just think that like you're gonna have one big batch and that's it. Like you won't be able to do it again, kind of thing. So because that that okay from a is... game perspective that gets op as hell when you can just be yeah. like I Let... put an entire nation to sleep. Let me <laughs> my, uh, my stuff, it's it's definitely I, I think... a capstone move I'm talking about here. Okay, that might add another workshop requirement then, because this is much bigger than I was thinking. I yeah, it was like one at a time, occasional. This places. is the first step in a global super, domination. Yeah, a super villain <laughs> master plan kind of thing. Yeah, this okay. is like one time this is, real clutch moment. I'm going to explain to you my super villain master plan in private. Okay, this is the first step of it. Okay. Um. That doesn't work. Oh, let me, let me. You're not gonna farm Artha from a doctor, no belief. I'm just <laughs> putting that out there right now. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the Bitcoin. <laughs> that that was the master plan. The There's Bitcoin a reason I'm calling it transcendence. Um, I have an idea as to what your idea might be, and it is scary amazing. Well, maybe I'll like your idea better. <laughs> no, I... Uh, okay. I, I've yeah, been a GM long hey. enough. No colluding with the GM. That's not cool. <laughs> um, shut up, shut up. No, it's the best way, because then you have narrative positioning. And you don't have to roll anything. But then you'll get yeah, when that, so when that session comes up, when when Primarch's just like, yeah, that happened, sure, there ain't no roll. <laughs> then we know that shit's going down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, 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 you know what I love about these this, these types of games? You're gonna spend so long setting that up, and then if anyone else figures it out, they will just shoot you in the head and end <laughs> immediately in one roll. I don't know how they figure it out, except for Whisk and Whisk like reading me and asking me questions or yes or no. And they're very good at that, it seems. <laughs> Stop asking yes or no questions. Um, Are you going to poison the pot? Like, that's not cool. That's People need that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. I should have thought of that. Listen, if anyone's poisoning I, the pot, it's going to be me. <laughs> I was going to add, the pot... Again, now, you, now that you're charging for the pot, we haven't... I'm not uh, charging for the pot. It's, Remember, it's like I'm, pay. It's like it's, pay how much you want. No, it's uh, I'm ex I'm no longer it's like rich. filling the pot out of my own like pocket. Oh right. Okay. I'm just I, taking donations to add to like a stock that gets okay. put in the pot. Okay, you haven't gotten many. So it's like a crowdfunded. Crowdfunded <laughs> pot. Yeah. Okay. Crowdsourced. Yeah. So he hasn't gotten many. Is he? Gonna, is Whisk gonna have to start paying barter? Um, <laughs> not yet. I mean, I'm still also selling food. And stuff. Gonna, yeah, exactly. I, I stuff is happening. We just haven't seen the wood stove this session. Um, but yeah, I think for something that big, let me look at the workspace stuff. I was looking. At... Uh, this. We're already making. We already have a custom move for this. The best you'll be able to do. Um, I think that. Don't need to take apart a person. Something like this. Kind of like that as an idea, actually. Um. Oh, I also like people helping you. 
but you would never let anyone help you with this, I don't think. Would you? Like, if I had yeah, really I just... trusted them, I mean, every evil overlord needs minions. I'm just... <laughs> like, yeah, like if I actually found someone on the rig that he actually cared or gave a shit about, like that's the thing, right? There's there's nobody on the rig that Kim wants to stay for. Yeah. And if that ever changed, we don't know, really. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I don't think it's another per Honestly, I think it's just going to cost a lot of money to get, like, all, right. all of this. How much burger um, do you want? Let me look how much... Uh, is there anything for how much multiple barter costs together? Look, here's the thing, Primark. Is it going to be interesting if I sit there and say I work a gig five times in a session? Well... That's the thing, No. Right? That's, that's what's true. going to happen if you tell me cost barter. Well, you well, could always well, just do it true. like, all right, this is like a like a thing... How are you going to get this money? I was going to say, right, and then choose one, one big gigs. thing to do. Like each gig you're doing is separate from the other. Like you've worked on a bunch of people, um, twice, but just twice, I think. And then you sold drugs. I'm curious as to what your future gigs might be because yeah, people are running out of money. Like you're getting more and more poor people, so you can't do that. Ba has his drugs for now, um, and he's he was ninety percent of your money. Um. So, I think that is. Uh, I just want to know what that gig will be. The gig um, is getting people addicted to my drugs so that they steal each other's barter and give it to me. All right. Well, then I'll just do this. You're gonna need dog meat's help. You can't with you can't uh, uh, get your own cerebral fluid. Right. You need another trained medic to get it out for you. Gotcha. That's perfect. Yeah. Or, like, a medic's help. Dog meat's the only other one here, but someone. Another one could spring into existence at any moment. Yes. We haven't yet seen Whisk look for one, but uh, we'll see. And I am, the prerogative is on you, Whisk, to go find one. Yeah. Okay. That is it. I will think about this custom move. Yeah, let's talk about are it. Are we all I'll explain? Yeah, are we all good for next uh, week? Checking. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. Um. Double check. Yeah, we're not in March yet. Yeah, I'm good. Correct. Last is the last Sunday, February. Uh, there will be a day I'll be missing, I think. But that's not next week. No, it's not next week. Okay. Then thank you everyone for watching us figure out Apocalypse World. <laughs> Which right. a lot of this was. Like it turns out I was forgetting harm properly. Um I, I kept like saying you take harm but forgetting to say how much. Well that's like that. That's indicative of like getting into the narrative more than the, the mechanic. I mm -hmm. mean that that can be a good thing when you're like, oh, I forgot about that thing, but it's because it w I was engrossed in what was going on. True. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> I forgot to bring it up at the start of the session. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, let me look at these things. Oh, I should have talked about this at the start of the session. Anyway, would have remembered I'd take harm when I'm in the wasteland by myself. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we'll go. Yeah. I I will try to and I'm gonna actually write this in, hold on. Next session, just so I remind myself, starts with everyone and a half in the lab. And also I'm gonna make a note to myself to focus 
scenes more for multiple characters and that that i mean just kind of focus scenes less in general just like figure out how to cross the goals together i guess well that's i i think that's more on on us like emceeing is much more reactive yep so like we should be pushing more Totally. And then, of course, the fact that Whisk isn't there in person. Whisk is, has her gang, which are my characters to portray. Watching no, Whisk is there in person, in. I thought. No, I mean, no, but your, your guards. Uh, she pulled a gun. Yeah, she like in person now. She wasn't and... there in person before. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's what I mean. Um, sure. And it's both powerful, but also changes the way that it works. Right. Mm. Yeah. So that is all good. Um, yeah, someone tried to off it, and Kim saved her. Yep. All right. So I guess we're going to go offline. Does anybody else have something they want to say or do? All right. I think we're all good here. No, Catch you guys I next think week. We're all good. I'll be well. I'll be streaming GM prep um, again Saturday, same time as the session starts. Nice. I was late this past week um, because uh, I was just super busy, but that's so it should be the same time as normal. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I look forward to watching those after this campaign is over. It, the first one was three hours long. The rest are normal, normal length, like <laughs> hour to hour and a half. Um, yeah. And you will see how much I'm like, oh, what about this idea? Next session, I'm like, well, that idea is dead. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> Just red X's over everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, because Grigsby died, I'm like, okay, well, Grigsby inform Grigsby's informants were disappearing. That doesn't matter anymore. Goodbye, threat. Um, which that was spoilers. Uh, <laughs> spoilers, they were disappearing. Spoilers. Yeah, you never had a chance because Greeks, there was a voicemail on Grigsby's. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. There was a voicemail um, on Grigsby's thing. Basically, when Drimmer showed up, uh, he came for your eager informant and took him. But yeah, but the thing about that whole thing is, it's still happening. So. Oh no, like, I, I know. You I know, think it doesn't matter. But it, Dremer is a but still it, character. But, but it might. Matter. You know, it's like we don't we don't have those threads to pick up. But it's Dremer still out there doing his thing. So. Specifically, the informants I've removed as a threat. I haven't removed Dremer as a threat. Um, and then yeah, so, also... so we're just gonna get blindsided by Dremor out of, out of left field doing something that we had no idea what was going on. You wake up one morning and see an army of monster trucks. <laughs> nice monster trucks. Just <laughs> um, I also, of course, removed the threat that was Greekspe security, as we mentioned. They just sort of dispersed. Yeah. Unloyal bastards. Loyal Taking to your bribes. Friends. Yeah, yeah. They. they I don't think you... <laughs> is having a gang part of your central identity or something like why don't you have your no gang no they, they they were they kind of like dead. like they were just attracted to the the altruism and that kind of thing and without without grigsby to like hold them together they probably just yeah wandered away yeah they, they did, none of them could be on the radio mimi was the only one and she was needed elsewhere um so Okay. Frost was going to, but she might like you're. She's she's only interacted with Grigsby so far, yeah. So that she might fade into the background. Um, I'm gonna actually write that down. What's up with Frost? Yeah, I thought Frost was a threat, but she hasn't done anything. She never got the chance to be. Maybe when she got, became on the radio, she would have. But I mean, maybe she's gonna take over the radio. I mean, she all she has to do is go to uh, Fleece and be like, uh, "I was promised airtime," and then that son of a bitch Welch by dying. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, but I don't think anyone listens to the radio anymore because Greeks be dead. There's no audience to broadcast to. I mean, um, like m many some people like in the rig. Yes. If you broadcast, they will come. You know. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. You're right, but that's also a lot of work. Um, and what we establish about her is that she's very greedy. 
and very pretty, and so she just does the easiest thing for money. True. Okay. Oh, I'm interested to see what we'll happens see. next time. Mm-hmm. She will be a thing still. Um, I have, I think, a page and a half of questions. Double spaced is normal. <laughs> Because that's exactly what I got most weeks. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Nice. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.